That was the most incredible wildlife encounter I have ever had. Welcome to the Isle of Mull. If you can see much of it. <laughs> it's a little bit foggy today. It's been raining for several days and I'm just dying to go out to do some photography. <clears throat> and today the idea is to look for some otters and try and get close. We gotta drive to the other side of the island though, so let's go. Oh my child, I know you heard and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve. All the bad in the herd. The wind coming from behind me here, so I'd like to kind of go out here and then walk slowly in that direction. Look in that direction. If I find an otter in that direction, the wind is coming from the otter towards me. I don't have to worry about the wind. So <clears throat> I got with me three things from Trago Pond that I could potentially use. I got a poncho, a rain poncho. I have a ghillie blanket and a ghillie coat. Actually, I also have four things. I have the 3D suit, camel suit as well. I was thinking I was going to use the ghillie blanket. It's quite big and I can just throw it over me and it'll be very well hidden amongst these rocks and seaweeds. I think the only concern I have about that is mobility because I'm going to want to sneak up closer to any otters that I might see. Um, and since this ghillie blanket is quite big, it's quite handy for when I want to lie in one location for a long time. But here, I may have to maneuver quite a bit to get into a better position to get a photo of the otters if I do see one. So I'm thinking the ghillie coat might be the best way to go. Ghillie coat, and I also put on gloves and a kind of a this kind of scarf thing to hide my face, hide my hands, because that's the kind of thing that a mammal could notice and be spooked by. So the backup plan is I always like to have a backup plan because otters can be tricky to spot, they can be hard to find, they can be hard to sneak up on. So if we don't get any otters today, there are more divers out here and we've seen them come quite close to shore up there so that could be a good substitute species if we don't catch the otter I can chuck my foot over and hopefully be at one with the seaweed. <laughs> Let's go down here. We'll walk into the wind slowly while scanning ahead, looking for some waters. I know you've done your part, it's not fair. You did your time. How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up, just hold on tight. So, the sea is relatively quiet. It's, it's wavy, but it's not incredibly choppy, so I should be able to see spot an otter swimming in here. So I just want to take it really slowly, make sure that I scan before I move on. Because I'm not going anywhere, I don't need to get anywhere fast. So just, you know, take it slowly and just look around. All your life you've tried to be a good man inside. Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good Ooh, I know you've tried so hard Ooh, I know you've done your part It's 
not fair Did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Checking the time, it looks like I spent like two, two and a half hours working my way down the shoreline here. And no otters, but a couple of divers, and that was quite a nice, nice thing to focus on. And I got to use the ghillie coat, go down on the seaweed very close to the water's edge, and they got very, really close to me. Uh, they didn't seem bothered by me at all. They probably didn't see me. So, no otters yet though. I've had another scan here, and I'm not too... Uh, 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 oh, two seconds. Holy shit. That's an otter. An otter just came to shore right in front of me here. Let me get my other camera. Let me try and film this. Absolutely amazing. An otter pops up out of the water right in front of where I'm parked. So I'm gonna do the same thing as I did last time. Head down this way, so I'm downwind. See if I can pick it up again. I can't see it anymore, but it looked like it was hunting very close to shore. So cool just to have seen one. Um, but now let's try and get closer. So last I saw the otter, it was heading up the shore here. Um, so I'm gonna lie down here, see, scan ahead, see if we can catch it again. That was the most incredible wildlife encounter I have ever had. See the otter down there, and it was making its way up along the shore here where I just walked an hour before. Um, slowly going up the way, so I, w I went further down, downwind, make sure that it's not smelling me, followed it up the shoreline. It's always quite a bit ahead of me. Got a couple of shots as it was walking up the shore, still quite far away. And um, now I lose sight of it for a while. And I kind of make my way further up along the shore. And I just keep scanning, keep scanning where I saw it last. And a little bit further up the shore, a little bit closer, just in case it's going to pop up right at me. Don't see it. Finally, I catch it way further, further up than where I thought it was. Uh, so I watch it there for about 10 minutes. And then it starts to turn around. And I'm almost almost right next to the shore, but further down, uh, or further, closer to here, where we are now, than it was. So I was hopeful that it was gonna come my way, maybe swim past me, or you know, maybe even come up on the shore a little bit for me to get a photo. And sure enough, I go down to the shore, I lie down and I wait, and I'm completely hidden. I got my hoodie on me, over my head, and I'm lying there next to the rocks, and it doesn't see me at all. So slowly it comes and it makes its way up on land a little bit and I get a couple of shots in, just perfect. Then it goes back into the water and I have to start turning around and I'm one meter away from the shoreline, maybe one and a half. And it comes onto land right next to me. Just unbelievable. 
It is the most incredible wildlife encounter I've ever had. It had something in his mouth and at that point I'm just snapping photos away. They're slightly overexposed but I think they, they came up with some good ones. I'm shooting in slow burst mode so uh, a quiet but a burst mode so it doesn't hear me, it doesn't see me and it's right next to me feeding. And it only happens like it's five seconds or something like that. And I'll take a couple of shots and I switch over, try and film it, uh, and then it move. Then it moved towards my legs. It almost walked on top of me. <laughs> and then it just stops. It was, I could just about see it out of the corner of my eye. Then it just stops, goes up a little bit like that, almost like it's sniffing the air, and then it just darted back into sea. It must have smelled me, and it just never even knew that I was right there until it smelled me. And thank you guys so much for watching this. This was incredible. I've had so much fun making this episode. It's probably the most fun one to have made. Once I get back though, I'm going to tell you guys of a new competition, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to announce a um, backpack that you can win. Right, I'm going to make my way back go for some coffee and lunch, and I will catch you guys back at the house. I hope you guys enjoyed that video on the otters and using the ghillie coat to get close to them. I certainly had an amazing time out there, and I had a great time just filming the whole video. I, I felt incredibly lucky that I got so close to these otters and that I got to share it with you guys. As promised, we're having another competition, and in this one, you can win, you can win a backpack. It is the Tragopan Tetras backpack. Now, I got version four right here, uh, so I thought I'd show you that real quickly. But the one you can win is version three, but there's not much of a difference between the two. I'll show you guys a photo of the Tetras version three that you can win, uh, just right right here now and as you can see the main difference is a few of these pockets and how they're arranged on the outside a few other bits and bobs this is just stuck with loads of pockets goes all the way through so it's massive and i put loads of gear in here this one here it's got loads of different pockets here camera the canon 50 in here pocket for my drink tripod attached down here and a waterproof cover in here. So that is it. You can win the Tetris Backpack version three. And all you have to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video on a social media channel, maybe Facebook or Twitter. And be sure to leave a comment below. That's how we pick the winner for the competition. Uh, winner will be announced next month. Best of luck to you all and enjoy the backpack, whoever wins it. In some other news as well, we have a shop specific for Canada and the US. Uh, that'll keep shipping costs down, so it's a lot easier for you guys to get your hides, whatever Tragopan gear you want, from that shop. And that is photographyblinds.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Everyone else, tragopan-shop.com. As usual, I'll also have a link in the below. Link uh, below. Finally, we wanted to give you all a 10% discount to use in the shop as a thank you for watching these videos and supporting us online. The voucher is going to work in the US shop and in the European shop. So please just enter 2019 Tragapon 10. That will give you a 10% discount in the shop. That's capital T. My name is Aspen and I have a, a YouTube channel as well which is all about wildlife photography. So if you do want to check out some more videos by me, I'll put a link in the description below. So please check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.